Well, there's Steve White, Steve White's 89. I wasn't going to weigh in on this or pay any attention to this because it's ridiculous. Um, Lizzo made an, just a fool out of herself because she actually said that Janet Jackson was the queen of pop and that Beyonce was the queen of music. Now, she's clearly saying this because they're black and she's black and it's just a matter of that's who she likes best. Well, that's really got nothing to do with it. It not, has nothing to do with your preference. It has nothing to do with your feelings. It's about facts. It's about statistics. It's about sales. Madonna is the queen because she has sold more albums, sold more singles, had more hits, had more time on the charts, sold more tickets. She is the queen. It's just that simple. Just like Michael Jackson is the king. And they're never going, that's never going to change. No new person is going to come up and, um, you know, dethrone them or unthrone them or I don't know how you say that. It's just not going to happen. And as much as I love Janet, I'm a fan. I've seen her live as well. I buy every album that she releases um, in hard copy, just like Madonna. Um, I love Janet, but she's not the queen. She hasn't sold as many records. She hasn't sold as many tickets. She hasn't had as many hits. Now, I know the only thing she's got over Madonna is she has had more awards from the industry, which shows that she has more respect from the industry, but that doesn't mean she's the queen or um, that she's had any more success. It just means she's more respected, which has more to do with the fact that she came from a showbiz family and she was already established and had the respect within the industry before she even started her career. Madonna, on the other hand, had to literally s just scratch her way up from the slums of New York in the in the 80s or the late 70s, actually. Um, she moved there in 79. Um, what was it, 78? Late 70s. And she did it herself. Janet came from a show business family. She had it all handed to her. Now she had to take control of her career and make it her own, and that's when she became really successful. But she did that from a very privileged position. Like, you've all seen the control video where she's like, you know, getting picked up, you know, in her limo and everything. I mean, that's how she lived. Madonna didn't have that. Madonna started, Madonna did it the hard way, and she did it bigger than Janet. And like I said, the only thing Janet has over her from, I'm looking at, I've been looking at all these stats and everything, and the only thing, actually there's only one other thing, um, like even when you look at album sales, every Madonna album comparatively sold more than the, the um, equivalent Janet album from the same era, except for Erotica. Erotica sold less than Janet. That's the only time Janet had an album of the same era that sold more, and that's it. I think people are, where they're getting confused is they're talking about all um, Janet's number ones and consecutive number ones and all this sort of stuff, and they're looking at the R&B charts and confusing them with the pop charts. We're talking about the pop charts. Madonna is the queen of pop. We're talking about the pop charts. Janet's um, um, R&B success, it's a different category. So maybe she's the queen of R&B. I don't know. I haven't looked at R&B. I don't know who the queen of rock is. I know Michael is the king of pop. Madonna is the queen of pop, um, Elvis is the king of rock and roll. I don't know who the queen is. I haven't worked out who the king and queen of um, R&B is. Supposedly Britney is the, prin the princess. I do agree with that. Uh, Bieber being the prince, I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't know, and some people have been joking about how um, Freddie Mercury is actually the queen of rock. <laughs> um, and prince is the prince and stuff like this, but... It just comes down to numbers, statistics, sales, positions on the charts, and so far as the pop charts, Madonna rules. She always has, she always will. Janet, there's no way she can reverse it now, especially not with her career in the toilet. Now, I must admit, Madonna, as we all know, is dead. Um, she was killed by the agent, the secret international secret agent, Madame X, who's been, you know, taking over her career for the last few years and has run it into the ground. But um, even if Madonna never sells another record, no one else is going to outdo her. And she was the first to, to really grab the pop... What you, well, I don't know, what, what, what would you call it? The, she was the first one to really take that crown and wear it. Same as Michael and same as Elvis did. I mean, once they have it, you can't take it away. It's just that simple. She's the queen of pop. And I know Lizzo is just saying this because Janet's black and she's black. So it's a bit racist. It's just stupid. It's ignorant. Um, it just is embarrassing for her. It makes her look stupid because she doesn't know anything about the numbers and the facts. She's just saying, well, I like Janet the best. She's my queen, so therefore she's the queen. 
it's narcissistic. It's short. It's it's, it's short. I'm not, I was going to say short-sighted. It's, it's um, narrow-minded. It's um, closed-minded. It's just this is nothing good to say about it. And she's just embarrassed herself hugely. Now I wasn't going to do a video because I thought it was a joke. I thought it, I really just thought it was a joke. I heard it. And I'm like, well, yeah, whatever. No one's going to take that seriously. And some people are. They're actually trying to defend the position. And the only defense is if you confuse the R&B charts with the pop charts and they're two different things so you can't compare them so um and madonna's still sold more and done more than janet but um she's had a few specific um r&b um i want to say hits um successive hits and stuff like that more you know stuff like that but that's it and again different charts different title so yeah madonna is the queen of pop the end feel free to share like comment subscribe but don't bother trying to disagree